Welcome back to TMG Classics. Today we have an episode from June 2019. Wow. What, what, what happens in this episode? <laughs> um, oh, we talk about gym tickles. Oh, damn. It's that one. Okay. That's, yeah, that's when I got tickled at the gym. It's always been one of my favorite bits. It's not a bit, actually. It was quite scarring. Yeah. Cody got a gym tickle, and uh, it's always been one of our favorite bits. <laughs> so please enjoy it as much as I have four years later. Four years later. Uh, we also talk about self-restraint and the perils of swimming in ice-cold water. Cody knows a little bit about that, too. Uh, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who, who am I getting hey, into man, cold water? Hey, cool, dude. <laughs> it's not funny, man. It's not funny. Okay, it's actually it's actually quite beneficial to your health. <laughs> Let's go back to 2019 with TMG Classics. New episodes drop every two weeks until the end of the year. Only two episodes left. Only so two left. Make sure you watch them. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, just a quick house. We don't we don't support eugenics. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that no, was not the point of the bit. All right, <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. Right up front, okay? <laughs> we're not into eugenics, okay? We're just two dumb guys that were joking about having a boot lock on, on your cock <laughs> and getting a government ID to bust a nut, okay? Yeah. Just some dystopian fifth element yeah. bullshit. Yeah. All right? We're not here to promote eugenics. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Glad that's cleared up. Yeah. New episode of Black Mirror. Have you seen it? <laughs> Have you seen it? No. Oh my god! Wait, dude. is it a whole new season? It's a whole new season, or it's like new ep whatever. Okay, which episode are you talking about? Episode one. Okay. Everyone <laughs> in our community section on Patreon is like, "You guys have to watch it." Why? <laughs> Do you want me to spoil it? Well, I mean, like, just tell me like the concept or oh something. Oh my no, dude! It's like someone was like, "Dude, this is one of your sketches come to life." I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I watched it, and I was howling. I was crying <laughs> laughing. I haven't laughed that hard in a long fucking time, dude. Really? Is yeah. it something that we've said before? It's like definitely something that we would come up with. Is it the one that Miley Cyrus is in? I saw no, her. Was, okay. Well, uh, isn't it Anthony Mackie? I don't know. Who dude that from is. the Marvel Universe. He um, uh, he plays the character with the wings. Hold up. Let me pull up his face. <laughs> dude, I was fucking. Oh, shit. Do you think you'll watch it? Yeah, definitely. Fucking, I mean, I saw everyone tweeting about it. God damn it. Yeah, it's Anthony Mackey. Um, credit to him and the other... I don't... I want to get his name right. Um, hold up. <laughs> I want to get the other actor's name. Because they both did an amazing job playing that shit. I mean, everyone, really. But Anthony Mackey and the other dude was... Um, ah, god damn it. Um... Yaya Abdul Mateen. Okay. Yeah. Heavy ass name, but they 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 killed it. And basically, God damn it. Right, here's the premise. You see, if I give it the premise, then it just Why? How does that ruin it, anything? I mean, will it ruin it for you? Will you still no, I'll still watch it. Okay. Just don't tell me how it ends. Um well How can you not <laughs> it's just, fuck it up, man? It's just I wish you watched it. This is such a blue ball, and I was gonna can, want. Can you pull up the synopsis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now here it is. It, here's, it, it's two friends that grew up together. Okay. Um, uh, they 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 reconvene later in life at, um, eleven years later. Mm -hmm. Anthony Mackie's character. It's his birthday. Okay. And his and his buddy pulls up, and uh, they used to play a fighting game called Striking Vipers. Okay. So his, his homie pulls up and he's like, hey, man, I got you something for your birthday. And it's Striking Vipers X. And he's like, whoa. And then he's like, you know, he looks at it and he goes, whoa, wait, but this one needs the VR attachment. I don't have that. And he goes, yeah, you do, bro. And he's like, oh, you got me the VR attachment? <laughs> oh, bro. And then he's like, thank you. Yo, it's a movie, it's a bro. Movie. This is a movie. Yeah, yeah. So then, um, so... That's uh, that's as far as I can really get. So then they fight each other for real. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, dude, let's see if you can figure this shit out. <laughs> so, I feel like I'll give you one sentence. Spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. I'll give you one sentence and you're going to figure out the whole shit. So, they go into VR to play the game, right? Okay. But when they go in, it like... <laughs> 
it takes over your whole body. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You feel everything. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay, so you then feel they the start, punches. They start then, jerking each other off. Well, one of them is a girl. One of them picks a girl character. Oh, why? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> So they fuck each other. <laughs> but not not at the birthday party, right? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that'd be that, weird that'd for be all, disgusting. The, all the guests yeah. at the party that are just sitting there watching them use the thing for the first time. Like, they're all sitting there like, oh, my God, they haven't played this game together for 11 years. This is so cute. It's and just, they both put on the goggles, and one of them just starts sucking the other's dick. And they're both, dude, they have these shots of them <laughs> laying on the couch, like, with the VR shit in, just like this. <laughs> And like their their eyes are just glowing and they're fully in it. Dude, I was dying, bro. It was like the student film version of Call Me By Your Name. Like it was really fucking dude, you have to watch the whole thing though. There are scenes in there that had me dying. And like Dude, Black Mirror just running out of ideas. I know. So I feel that's what I was gonna say. Is like I feel like the last season is like, what if technology was bad? Uh-huh. Now it's like, what if it's too horny? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's kind of good? Yeah, yeah. What if it's kind of sexy <laughs> sometimes, bro? What if you get <laughs> dude? The game is called Striking Vipers. I like. I, it hit me afterward. I'm like, that's the coolest euphemism for yeah, it really is <laughs> slapping yeah. your homies. Yeah, hey fool, I got this VR <laughs> thing for you. That's sick, dog. Yeah, we should play this game for sure. I'm gonna be the girl. Feel me w- up. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's the fucking dude. It gets deeper though, and it's yo low key. You're kind of bad. <laughs> your character. <laughs> Or I guess it's you. I mean, I don't, you're, I'm just saying, you're fucking hot. You'd touch my Viper any day. Oh, my God. I was tweeting about it. If I deleted him now, <laughs> dude, apply from Twitch. He was like, if we'll hit me up, let's run duos on Striking Vipers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else is like, that's you and Spock when you get a victory royal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like uh, laughing because I'm like now Alita's just gonna think that's what we're doing when we play Fortnite. Yeah, I don't know. I need one more game. <laughs> one more game. Why are you guys all dressed like girls? <laughs> um, no reason. Yeah, it's don't just please go. Away. It's easier <laughs> because we don't discriminate. So it's like you can you can still be good at the game if you're a girl. Dude, Dude, why do I? Why do you need the VR attachment for Fortnite? You know, <laughs> just building is easier. Yeah, like you can like see through the cracks in yeah. the buildings. Yeah, it's it, it was whatever. I can see you. You can see your homies crack. Yeah, what's up? What's up? N- nothing. <laughs> nothing. None. You can build a box and like <laughs> just lock your homie in the box, and it's just you guys making out in the box. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny as fuck. <laughs> Fortnite enables VR, and you just like walk up to a one by one, and you just see like. Two like, two, yeah, just two, two characters doing like a sexy mo, but yeah. it's like not actual sex. Like one of them's doing like this motion, yeah. and the other one's <laughs> like this. And you just hear two guys in there. Oh hell yeah, man! Yeah, yeah. Don't stop, bro. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Don't stop. I'm not gonna. Rocket on me, on me, on me, on me, on me, on me, on me. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude! You, holy shit! You have to watch it. Like, yeah, I will. Tomorrow. I will. Fucking, this, this has been. We we had a show. Thanks to everyone who came came to the show. Yeah, um, thanks. You will receive your your promo code in due time. Mm-hmm. Okay, just we're working that out. We're we basically. I can't even talk about the hoop we have to get through for that. Mm-hmm. But it's coming in due time. It was a good show. Yeah, um, it was fun. Uh, some shit bombed, some shit crushed, mm-hmm. <laughs> as always. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, even f- compared to our other warm up show, that one felt way stronger. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay, I don't even remember the last one. Our second one, yeah. I mean, it was fine, but we were all that one was all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> that was truly like a ton of spitballs at a wall. Yeah. Now, this one was like we had, you know, more like darts. Like we knew what we were trying to do. Yeah. With each bit. Yeah, I think. I think. <clears throat> Gives us a better idea of how we should evolve things moving forward. hundred percent. Like, and and gave me a good idea of like how we should structure things. Yeah, 
Yeah. I and like the new structure way better. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. So we were speaking about this very vaguely, so you guys come to an actual show. Yeah. TinyMeTour.com. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got, we we got Milwaukee got, coming up. Yeah, we got, got Milwaukee. Grand Rapids coming up. Mm -hmm. And then we got... Mini, mini soda, Minneapolis. Mini, mini, Minneapolis. Mini, one of the minis. <laughs> we got a mini. Mini Mouse coming up. Yep. Um, Minneapolis. Yeah. And then in August, it's Canada. C -c -c so we still got, I checked today, we still got Edmonton tickets available, the early show in Calgary, Winnipeg, yeah, and Fargo and Des Moines. Yeah, but I mean. <sighs> both Vancouver shows are sold out. Both Toronto shows are sold out. Mm -hmm. Late Calgary shows sold out. Yeah. But I mean, so, um, we're pretty like get on those bad boys. Pretty close to cap on all the other rooms too. Mm -hmm. So so run out and grab a ticket, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm excited. <clears throat> There's this, this a lot of a lot of things coming up. This yeah. has been a crazy past like two three weeks. I'm fucking tired. I'm <laughs> tired as I'm fuck. Tired as shit. I'm beat. Yeah. <clears throat> What, what the hell else was we going to talk about? I, I was just prepared to like go in on striking vipers, dude. <laughs> It's so <laughs> funny, dude. I mean, just just to do it. I'll watch it anyways. I, I don't. It, no, man. It, it'll be way better after you watch okay. it. Okay. Yeah. It's just. It's, yeah, we'll get way more miles out of it. Okay. So we'll, we'll come back to that one. Yeah. What the fuck else did I watch last night? I finished Chernobyl. Bet you haven't started that. No. What's that? that? It's like um, it's a mini series, but it it follows pretty closely to like what actually happened mm -hmm. at Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. Pretty wild, man. Okay. Pretty fucking crazy, Pretty, dude. When you like, when you think you, about it. Yeah, when you never really think about Chernobyl, but it's like, but it's pretty wild. Pretty sick, honestly. <laughs> pretty sick. Yeah, <laughs> not like that. Yeah, like, like, sick in the head. You know. What I'm oh saying? yeah, like <laughs> yeah, totally. Here's another Black Mirror episode. Dude goes to Chernobyl and grows a second dick. No, he gets like uh -huh. a radioactive bite on his dick, and uh -huh. it just gets insanely huge. Okay, yeah. And at first. It's like the dream of having a huge cock, but then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger until he becomes a giant dick. <laughs> like a literal, like his, his dick grows into an organism and absorbs his body. Oh, you know, like, and he's a, a giant walking dick. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah, gets, That's really good. It's put in a museum and his consciousness is alive, but he can't speak because yeah. he's a giant penis. It's called Giant Viper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude. That shit is so funny. <laughs> oh, fucking Love Island. Did you start watching it? No. Why? Why not? I fuck. Because I, of everything. <laughs> yeah, but give him, you're watching fucking Chernobyl and Black Mirror and shit. I just did all that Priorities, last night. dog. <laughs> Love Island. All right, you watch. It's Stri great so far. Okay, you watch Striking Vipers. I watch Love Island this weekend. Dude, everyone keeps saying I look like this dude on the show, but it's like. It, everyone's descriptions are like, yeah, if you were 200 pounds, six feet tall, yeah, if I was a totally physically different person, <laughs> I'd be this guy. The most thing we have in common is we both have black fucking hair. That's it. <laughs> it's such like a shit compliment. Wait, which one? I don't know. He's He's got black hair and he's... Is he tatted? No, he's like tall and buff as shit. He's like legit like 200 pounds. Yeah. I mean, they fucking all are, dude. Yeah. Is he the boxer? Yeah. Do you know? I'm just I trying know. to figure I out. Don't I, don't I don't know. I don't know anything about the okay. about contestants okay. here. <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's pretty fucking good so far. Yeah, they're they're so good at picking just assholes, yeah. <laughs> like like a no, but like a good mixture. Yeah, like there's this one girl. She's a fucking bitch. Yeah, she's just down to her core. A <laughs> fucking bitch, <laughs> and I hate watching her. But like you, like that gets you emotionally invested in the yeah. show because me and Kelsey are both sitting there like you should be off the show. Yeah, I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. Yeah. But then it's like I want to see what she does. I want to see how like how what she says next because she fucking sucks. She should be off the show. But like, let's see what's up with her. Let's 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 boost her entire career. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see. I'm just gonna follow her on Instagram just to yeah. like see what the fuck you know. What kind of she, bitchy shit she's putting? Yeah, on exactly. There. Just see what kind of stupid shit she puts up. She's <laughs> such a bitch. I love her. Uh, you, know, you know, you know what inevitably happens is those people they quote love being like the villain uh -huh. until they get a million followers and they get thousands of comments a day being like you should die and yeah. they're like well hold on yeah, yeah okay yeah. i just okay yeah. i just said the guy had a small dick and I that's when they start preaching positivity yeah and like <laughs> let's, wanting let's, to spread yeah, positivity let's, let's be positive what's with all this negativity all the time yeah then everyone's like Cause you're fucking negative stupid oh you want to be positive now you weren't very positive when you told mike you had a tiny penis <laughs> well he does have a tiny penis yeah. so yeah well you're a fucking bitch and there's like the one 
like timid girl. She's 26. She's never had a boyfriend before. And everyone's mm. like, why? Why? That's so weird. She's so pretty. And then <sighs> she just like kind of starts being a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah. And that's people great. are like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> she's just like, <laughs> she just cooks hard boiled eggs one morning <laughs> and starts she's sucking just, them down. Yeah, yeah. No, not even. She just like, like plops he- halfway in her mouth. Just no, no, eat raw. <laughs> yeah. She just like everyone else is making breakfast, scrambled eggs, <laughs> drinking coffee, and she just chews one raw and just walks away. And everyone's like, Did you get, is she like a bird? Or is, what's going on? <laughs> no, it's totally the same. You don't have to cook it. <laughs> it's way, and she starts eating mud and clay because it's good for your teeth. Everyone's like, What the fuck, dude? She's like one of those like Russian chalk eating accounts. Mm-hmm. No one knows it. Yeah. Just pulls out a fucking bag of chalk, <laughs> Olympic rock sized chalk. Yeah, my strange addiction. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's it's not like good for you, but it's not bad for you either. <laughs> <laughs> there was a the she the girl she said that uh, her in her like interview she said her biggest turnoff is a wandering eye. Oh. She doesn't like a guy who she she wants a guy who's devoted. Right. And then she cut, doesn't want him to what, cut to the dude that she got coupled up with. He goes, yeah, I've got a little bit of a wandering eye. Awesome. I can't lie. Awesome. <laughs> like, how awesome. are you guys so fucking good at this? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, good. If that ain't scripted or I thought they're just going to cut to some fool like out of Harry Potter, like Mad Eye Moody. He's got a literal like eye on a swivel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she gets coupled up with the one dude with <laughs> crazy ass lazy eye. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest turn off for me. <laughs> oh my God. Where's he looking? I can't tell. Oh my God. <laughs> She's insensitive as shit. <laughs> She's just a major <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's odd. Like, it doesn't look straight. I can't. Really, what's wrong with it? That dude. That's basically this other girl. That's a total bitch. Awesome. She's telling. She's she coupled up with this one dude, and they're like, they're like, he's like trying to flirt with her. Like, just give. He's like, just give me something, right? Right. And he's sitting there being charming and being all nice. And he's like, you really, you look really good in those sunglasses. Like, and she's yeah. like, yeah, I look good in all pairs of sunglasses. And he's like, yeah, me too, I guess. And she's like, really? No, you, there's no way. Wow. Like, those don't even look good on you. Wow. <laughs> Without even a, a hint of a smile. Wow. And he's like, huh, come on. I mean, like, I don't look like that bad. And she's like, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really see it. Just like, you cold-hearted bitch. Wow. Oh, man. You're a bitch. That's like. You're wh- a. <laughs> That's like one of those where. You're worse than a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Oh. Oh. A bunt cake. A bunt cake. <laughs> You're a bunt cake. <laughs> you fucking bunt. That's Jake Paul's version of the C word. <laughs> Don't be a little bunt, dude. <laughs> Dog, that's one of those. On a show like, I mean, neither of us would ever get cast on a show like that. We're not tall enough. But I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, actually, actually, now that you mention that, one of, those, one of these dudes walked in and it was... Two guys came in at the same time. It was like, you know, where they add two more guys. Yeah. And so they came in at the same time, and one was like a foot taller than the other one. And uh-huh. I was like, oh, my boy, Short King. Yeah. Finally, they got a Short King on the show. Yeah. And then you Yeah, re- and he's like all, he's like jacked and shit. Yeah. And, but like, well, whatever. He's short. You know, yeah. that gives us some hope. And uh, and they had an interview with one of the people on the show, and they were they go, yeah, you know, Joe's a boxer. He's real fit. You know, he's 6'2", and he's really, real big. I was like, he's oh, he's not short at no. all. He's six two. The so the guy. other dude is six six yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's an Adonis. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's even fucking bigger. Yeah, that shit is hilarious yeah. to me. I want to stand next to people like that? I'm like, you're just fucking get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's when I start believing in guns. I'm like, you know what? I need a damn gun. <laughs> this, for this motherfucker right here. I need a damn gun. There's a dude though. That goes to Gold's. He's like one of the guys mm. that stands outside of Muscle Beach and okay. gets paid to just stand there. Oh, he's just huge. He's fucking. He's the biggest <laughs> dude I've ever seen in my entire life. I swear to God, he's like six <laughs> ten. Yeah, might even be seven feet. S- six twelve, and like insanely big, like bodybuilder, <laughs> like bodybuilder size. Like Arnold. Just yeah, and he's that tall. Massive. It's fu- he must weigh three hundred pounds of muscle. Yeah. It's crazy. And dude, just crush your soul. Yeah, I mean, he just looks like he's. Bound to get casted in some yeah action movie, not even action movie, just something like um, Game <sighs> of Thrones or some shit where he just like has to play the mountain. Got it. He's just like a just a 
freak. Got it. I was yeah. <laughs> He's a freak. Sorry, that's yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell him that. You should. Yeah, I'll say it to your face. Do your fucking freak. What's up, freak? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, freak show. What's good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we just get to roasting him. Oh shit! I didn't know the circus pulled up today. Where's your fucking girlfriend with a mustache, homie? Yeah. What's up with that? Where's your mom with the beard, fool? Big you ass dumbass over here. Freak weirdo. <laughs> the fuck they make you in, dog? Diecast metal, fool. You come out of a fucking chrome shop, dog. What are you made of? What special effects team put you together? Oh, fucking shit. Thanos pulled up. Oh, Damn. get a look at this guy. <laughs> Motherfucker, where's your glove, dog? Do the line. Do the line. <laughs> I am inevitable. Do it, fool. Do Come it. Come on, do it. <laughs> Just punching his thigh. <laughs> do it, man. Come on, dog. Come on, you big, stupid freak. <laughs> <laughs> Just starts crying. Just fucking, just weird, just insanely insecure. I knew you were a pussy. <laughs> Come spot me. Please. <laughs> you just start repping out 85 on bench. <laughs> Dude, so I like, I started working out again. I'm like tying in cardio. It actually fucking, I was, cardio feels great. Yeah, it makes you feel really good. Yeah, I've slept on that forever. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, so, you know, whatever. I'm I'm, I'm probably not going to gain weight as fast, but You do. You do. You still do. <clears throat> yeah, I know. You're not, you can't, off of 15 minutes of cardio, like, you're not burning that many calories. Maybe 100. Yeah. If you're. What are you doing? Walking? No. Running? No. Yeah, just like, like, like jogging mm -hmm. for now. I have yeah, shit yeah. endurance. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway. Um, I just want, because people like, like, if you put the treadmill on the max incline and then walk, uh -huh. it's a good way to, like, burn or do cardio without like burning too many calories. Oh word. You know, it burns fat. Okay. No, I, I guess. I don't I, know. I like the feeling of like like running and like getting into uh -huh, it. Yeah. You know, like that little nice sprint. But I was <laughs> laughing because I was just working out of my uh, my the gym in my apartment and uh so the waist don't get up very high. So I pick up like two dumbbells and I'm pressing them and I start chuckling. I'm like Oh shit! I'm glad I didn't go to like the big gym today. I need a few days, like get back up, because that's gonna be me. Like get on bench and put a fucking 95, like a pussy. Just <laughs> dude, you're too worried about that shit. No one gives a fuck, no, no, dude. I give a fuck. No one gives a fuck. No, but like there I are there are like old ass 80 year old dudes that go to Golds. Yeah, and sit there in like jeans and <laughs> I mean yeah, and like lift like two pound weights. But they're past the point of giving a fuck. You know, I'm still that's like true. I still have a yeah, few yeah, years yeah, left yeah, of giving true. a that's shit. True. That's true. <laughs> that's true. It's <laughs> just like I it's just a mental thing. Yeah. You can't go in there. If I'm gonna do eighty five, it's gotta look like solid rep. Like, okay, he's got good form. Yeah. You could probably put up a little more. Yeah. But that first day back that where you're still a little sus. But that's what I'm saying. You're thinking about it from someone else's perspective who's oh, totally. watching you. Nobody's yeah. looking at you. No, everyone's looking at me. No, they're not. No, when I go no, into the gym, you think someone goes, "Oh, oh, he's got pretty good form." No, when no. I go when I go into the gym, I think literally everyone turns their neck, like Agent Smith from the yeah, Matrix, yeah, like yeah. Mr. Anderson. What are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome back. You don't belong here. <laughs> I see you've gotten a little smaller. <laughs> I've laid out the bench for you. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I get I get weird about that shit. Yeah, because I'm I'm a tiny man, dude. So I care. I care when I'm in the gym. Yeah, but nobody else does. I know, but everyone's too busy listening to look, dude. Music just, and just a few days, and I'll stop caring. But it's always that first few days yeah. where my where my form is sus. Mm -hmm. I, that's where I feel insecure. You think people see? That's the thing. You think people <clears throat> give a shit about form? They don't. I do. No. Yeah. They give a maybe. They give a shit about how you look. Maybe. Okay. Maybe they give a shit about how how much weight you're lifting. I just when it's a lot. I think I'm I'm insecure about it because I get judgmental of people who do weird shit in the gym. You so do. I, I'm, I'm talking about like people who like. <laughs> okay, case in point, dude. I, I brought this over the podcast where this old guy who goes in there. Yeah. Every time he does lat pull downs. Yeah. He's like borderline like that old like Instagram video of that dude like. Yanking three hundred pounds and like use like walking the machine, you know what I'm saying? Like he like he pulls it and he's like gripping his feet to the floor and shit. He's borderline there, like he is like gonna snap his neck and he like so much effort to get it to his chest, and the weight like pulls him up. So it's always like, 
And I'm just afraid. I mean, you, don't I look, look, you don't look like that. No, but that's like, I'm afraid I'm going to look like that to somebody. See, the thing is, I always see that shit and I'm like, they know something I don't. <laughs> like some trainer, some trainer along the way told them to do that because it works some weird muscle in their neck or something. So they're like, no, you want the weight to pick you up and after. throw that you around. That means you're doing good. Yeah. No, you want the weight to look like it's shaking your hand violently. <laughs> yeah. You want to have airtime on the end of this yeah. rep. <laughs> 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 oh shit dude my fucking whenever like uh I, what's funny about th that gym is like it, it's in like a business complex so like you'll occasionally get the dude who's like used to work out and is trying to get back into it on his lunch break mm -hmm. and like he always, it's always just he, he sticks out dude like he's got like a shirt with a little bit of the belly sweat like pre-stain mm -hmm. it's just stuck on there okay then he's got workout gloves from high school mm -hmm. then he's got basketball shorts okay because that's all he's got left from college maybe okay and it's him and his buddy it's all it's just the weirdest thing and then they're always talking about work and they always like go to go to the bench <laughs> and i remember specifically these two guys one of them's like what you want him? he's like i put 45s on there he's like you sure and i'm like oh <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> when your bud says you sure <laughs> I think that's a good sign. Maybe step it down. He's like, yeah, 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 I got it. They throw it up there. Dude gets it up. His right arm gives out immediately. It's just like, clink. Oh. He's like, Ugh! and his buddy like rushes to grab it. And I'm staring at the shit like I'm about to jump in. But the, like the dude catches it and he's like, Duh, 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 duh. he gets up and he's like, like feeling his arm. I'm like, oh, you fuck some shit up. And he's like, yeah, maybe, just maybe a little lighter, you know, maybe a little lighter. I'm like, okay. That's like the extreme version of me, though. I see a bit of me and him. I'm like, that's some shit I'd do. I'd be like, nah, I could do 205. You wouldn't just throw on. No, like, I think like maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like 16-year-old me would have did that okay, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just so insecure, go all the other way with yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, fuck it. 215? Yeah, fucking toss it. I would do it the whole time. Yeah. I would do it the whole time. <laughs> oh my god it's on his neck <laughs> just, just help him uh, just wait a, he said he could get, do it yeah i think he'll get it up <laughs> this is, <laughs> no no you're denying help oh, yeah. <laughs> dudes are coming in to, to take it off your neck <laughs> 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 Your eyes start bleeding. <laughs> face is going. I got it, got it. Your face is blue as fuck. Dude's like, are you sure? <laughs> Dude, we gotta lift it up. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch it. Don't touch it. All right. Fuck, you, All right. You eventually go to the hospital. Your <laughs> neck is stuck like that permanently. <laughs> like, how'd you? Like, what happened to that guy's voice? It's like 10 years later in the gym. Yo, that guy's, like, his neck is, like, what's wrong with it? You hear him from earshot, and you walk over. You're like, oh. Permanently sound like fucking Elmo. But no, that's like meatball, <laughs> aquatine. God damn it, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You're you're probably right. I shouldn't give a shit about stuff like no, that. No, man. Nah. You got to be around people who are fucking big. Yeah. That's some inspirational shit. <laughs> I don't. Nah. I don't get inspired by that. I don't like. Yeah, I think we've talked about this before. <laughs> that's kind of funny though. Just like sitting, like just cranking your, like turning your head left, like dude, you're fucking huge. <laughs> and he's like, what? I want to be you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool, man. You don't even ask him his name. You just keep staring. Yeah. Watching it. Yeah. You're my idol, dog. <laughs> just creeping him out in the gym. <laughs> yeah, just staring. Oh, <laughs> he, goes and, he goes and grabs a curl bar. You just go right beside and grab yeah. a curl bar. <laughs> Doing everything he does. <laughs> yeah, but like 10% but like of the weight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this burns, doesn't it? <laughs> that'd be, oh. <laughs> that'd be some good fucking, that'd be a good Nelk bit right <laughs> yeah, there, that dude. Would, that would be a good one. I want to be you. It's just like super innocent. <laughs> yeah. I want to lift like you though, bro. Yeah. Every machine. Yeah. Cut, cut work in. Cool, man. Nah, I just, I like your body. 
not like that. I just like I want to have it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so funny to 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 like ask to work in on every single exercise and try to do the same way he does <laughs> and fail every single time. <laughs> and the next thing, can I work in? He yeah, fucking... sure. Okay, you got to spot me for this one then. <laughs> What's the fucking? <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, yeah you did a little bit better, but I think <laughs> that's fine. <clears throat> uh, wait, can I check the time? I didn't fucking. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't Go set for a it. timer. I mean, uh, I know. So we just did um, a video with Nelk. And Let's take a break. Do we? Yep. We got to take a break? Yep. For the ads? Yes, we got to take a break. All right, let's take a, let's take a break. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> um. Yeah, shooting with Nelk. That was... Did we talk about that? We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about that yet. I, we have one more gym story. Oh, go for it. I um, I had like a creepy... I don't know. I had some creepy shit happen to me at the gym. No way. Yeah. I mean, I kind of... I don't know. Oh, wait. I, 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 I kind of got like a little taste of what it was like to be a girl at the gym, you know? Dudes are just like ruthlessly hitting on girls at the gym. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, hit on? <laughs> yeah, creeped on? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it was... I don't know, Cake. Okay, it was a <clears throat> big trainer... Jack, dude. Yeah. Huge bodybuilder yeah. guy that always says hi to me. And so I've, I've always, and it, you know, it made me feel kind of like, you know, cool. I'm, I'm one of the, one of the guys now at Gold's gym. It says hi? Or like a, or he'll like just a, be like, what's good? And he'll like dab me up. Word. How did you guys meet? What machine was it? <laughs> no, I mean like he just started saying hi to me. I would just walk by him and he'd be like, yo, what's up, dude? Like he's always there and he always sees me. So he'll be like, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Cool, cool, cool. What's up? What's up? I, every, you know, every time I'm there basically. Okay. And so, you know. I see him again. I'm like, yeah, what's up, dude? And I go to start doing like lat pull downs or whatever. I have my earphones on, I'm like blasting music. And he comes up behind me and like, like, like tickles me, like pokes me right here. Like mid set too. And I thought he was like fixing my form. So I, I like drop the thing. I take my earphone out. I turn around. I'm like, what's up? And he's standing like right behind me, like. Like, just with his fingers on the side of my thing. And he's like, what are your plans for the weekend? And I'm like, <laughs> no, bro, wait. What do you mean you don't know? What do you mean you don't know? I could, like, it, like dude, the, the, I think the people there are so, like, <laughs> just, like that could be a normal interaction for, for, for two bodybuilders. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and what? Fucking bodybuildersfuck.com? That's the <laughs> no, fucking, man. That's the beginning. I don't know. That is the beginning. Because I don't want to paint this as some, like, weird, like, like That's pretty fucking situation weird. Situation if it, if it was just totally innocent, and I just fucking misread the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't I don't know if I've ever jokingly ran up to a dude I've seen at the gym <laughs> and tickled, and, him, and right tickled him and said, what are your plans for the weekend? He just, like, poked, poked me in the sides, and I was like, what the fuck? I that took is... my shit out, and I'm like, what's up? And he's, like, right here. What are your plans for the weekend? I'm like, nothing, just chilling. He's like, just enjoying the holiday weekend, huh? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, cool, cool. And he just, like, walks away, and I was like, I got my shit. I went to the other side of the gym, man. I was like, <laughs> oh. I, was, I bet you girls get that shit all the time, man. Which is fucked up, man. Yeah, fucked up. <laughs> that's, that's some sexual assault right I, there. I know. It was crazy. Damn, bro. You got, yeah. I, I Sam and them are always like, you got to come to Gold's, man. I'm never going to Gold's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to Gold's, dog. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's just how I read the situation. I don't, might have might have been innocent, but I, I don't know. I understand. I don't think you should touch other people at the gym. Yeah, I understand. Mm. Like if you if you're actually boys and you're doing like some gay chicken shit, mm -hmm. where like you walk up to your homie that you've known for a while and yeah. you like swipe your hand on his lower back or whatever, and he's <clears> like, "What <throat> the fuck?" And you're like, "Nah, like, what's good, dog? Like, what are your plans?" But to a dude you've never had a conversation with, homie. Yeah, you've never talked to that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah you got. Yeah. I was getting hit on. Yeah, <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's a compliment, though. You must be doing I'm good a work in flatter, there. Flattered, man. Yeah, you, you're doing good work yeah, in there. Exactly. He's he's eyeing my lats. Yeah, he's like, oh shit, <laughs> I can't wait to bend this little man over and stop, dude. <laughs> Stop. He straight up tickled you, homie. <laughs> I you got, got tickled, you man. Got tickled in I the got gym. gym tickled. <laughs> <laughs> a gym There's tickle. gotta be a gym tickle support group, man. <laughs> Holy shit! Hi, my name's uh, my name's Frank. 
Um, I'm 27, and I got my first gym tickle the other day. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate, Frank. How did it happen? Well, you know, I was uh, I was just I was on the a- abductor machine, and I thought, you know, I get a little extra work in on my on my <laughs> on my abs, and then this huge like freak show motherfucker walks over. He's like seven feet tall. He comes up to me and. <laughs> And I've got my headphones in. I got my eyes closed because, you know, I'm just kind of working through the pain. And then I feel like just I know. <laughs> strong. No, I hear I hear in my ear just a real soft, Gucci, Gucci, Goo. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Who's this silly boy? Gucci, Goo. <laughs> um, I start laughing and start chuckling. And he thinks I'm enjoying it. And so <laughs> I'm like, no, stop. <laughs> stop. And so, like, he keeps tickling me. And then he wraps you, could you, could you, could you. <laughs> he, he wraps his big freak show hands around my stomach, <laughs> and I spaz out. I'm like, "Ah, what are you doing?" <laughs> he goes, "What? Are you, oh, sorry, man. What are your plans for the weekend?" <laughs> cool, man. Just enjoying the long holiday. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, for cool. sure. <laughs> Oh, dude. I read, like, some story on relationship advice. <clears throat> it was, like, some shit like that, but dude went all the way. What do you mean? It was, like, it was like the title was, like, um, uh, <laughs> it starts with, I'm not gay, but I immediately start laughing. I'm, like, okay, where is this going? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> and it's, like, some dude who goes to the gym, and basically he met a guy there, and they would just work out together, and he's, like, I think he likes me. And I can't tell, uh, but then like something like he, uh, he updated the post at the end cause I had seen it like some days after and he was like, uh, he, he asked me out and I said, yes. And then all the comments were like, <laughs> what? Yeah. All the comments were like, that's cool, man. But I don't think you can't say you're not gay anymore, <laughs> which is fine. Yeah. It's all good. But, Go on a date with him. But yeah. <laughs> the dude was like, yeah, I guess so. I'm like, what is that? Yeah, but was he like, I don't know if it's like a man friend date or if it's like a... No, no, because like in his story, the dude was like, um, you, you want to hang out this weekend? He was like, are you asking me out on a date? He's like, would it be wrong if I was? And he was like, no, not at all. So it's like... Okay, yeah, you want to smash vipers with them. Yeah, yeah, you want to yeah. smash, yeah, you want to strike vipers. You want to strike vipers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the new way to do it in the gym. What's up, bro? You want to strike vipers this weekend? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. yeah, hit me up. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. Let's sure. do it. Pull up, 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 pull B cups at least. <laughs> <laughs> I was just laughing after I read that story. Fucking this is like a good segue into that. Is that just happened at the gym? Like you just get so sometimes you just get gym tickled. No, 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 no. I mean like the like these bodybuilder dudes, they become so obsessed with physique <clears throat> that it's just like they just be, become gay. Oh yeah, actually no, there's that fucking there's that um I don't know if it's from 4chan or like the Reddit fitness subreddit, but it's like the gay scale. Mm-hmm. For like bodybuilding, yeah, it, I don't know. Is there one? <laughs> there's, uh, there's like some meme or something. Yeah, it's like some copy pasta or okay. something. I felt, I forget. Like I swear, there's like some meme. Yeah, about like the more like you work out, you like definitely become gay because you get like turned on by yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see how that would happen. <clears throat> yeah, it just gets so deep in it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah, he's yeah. huge. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. That's my ideal body right there, man. <laughs> I want to be inside. I want to be inside. <laughs> no, it's just like some avatar shit. When they enter each other, they get to be <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> so that's how they go to the gym. He puts it in his ass and he becomes the other dude. And he starts working out as the other guy. <clears throat> I know there's like at least 10 people right now like, what the, what the fuck, fuck are you guys, guys talking, talking about, about dude? <laughs> This is just gym, just gym things. Yeah, it's just gym tickles. Yeah, just gym tickles. Somebody make that Instagram account, gym tickles. Gym tickles. Yeah. And then, the uh, gym tickler. He's still out there. <laughs> That's, yeah. Yeah, girls must get that shit all the time. Dude. Yeah. That shit makes yeah, especially, me uncomfortable. Especially dude. at Golds, man. Yeah I, be- yeah, I believe it. Oh, man. Dude, when, it's just so uncomfortable seeing that shit. People flirt. When, like, when some girls like mid-set. And some dude just like tries, like thinks that that's the time. Ugh. Never the time, but they think that's the time mid fucking thing. So where you like to come here? For, 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 you ever fucking shit? You get this shit? And they're like, 
mid. It's like, what? What'd you? Sorry. Huh? What? And they're like, listen, you know, yeah. they got to take their shit out. Yeah. Sorry, what? What did you say? I would just fly oh, out. I just noticed fucking... that you fucking, you just <laughs> it in your sandwich. And I noticed you were eating the thing. Was that a good protein bar? Or what's up with the? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. My see, name is Derek, by the way. So. See, see you around. See you around. This <laughs> is the awkward, like, nerd, like, cool. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 yeah, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Or just like, hey, excuse me. Yeah, what's up? You're, are you using that? <laughs> just points to some shit. <laughs> Ten feet and yeah. the other. What? Are you the thing? You using the kettlebell? No, I'm, no. What? I'm not even close. Okay, cool. What's your name, by the way? <laughs> cool, cool. I'm Justin, so. He gives her a little tickle. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right, so nice to meet you. Good to meet you. you. <laughs> <laughs> good nice to meet you. Just point. She's, and she's not ticklish. ticklish? At all? <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> she's like, keeps going. You're not ticklish? Yeah, what, what is wrong with you? You're what's, not ticklish? What's wrong with your Everyone's ticklish a little bit. She's like, ow. Get, stop. Get off. Fucking ow. No more. Please. What? What? Get the fuck off. Well, come on. you got to be a little bit. <laughs> got to be a little bit. What the fuck is it? What? Stop it. Get the Come fu- on. Everyone's everyone's a little bit ticklish. She's like, Where is it? I'm going like, to find the spot. I'm going to find the spot. from the yeah, Matrix stop. just stopping. Oh, 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 get the fuck out of here, dude. She's Casey Frey in that, in that video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get away. Come on, everyone. Come on. Come on, let me try. Where's your spot? Where's your spot? Where's your, where is Come it? On. Come on. Come on. Let me, let me just let me, <laughs> let me try one more. Let me try one more. <laughs> that is some fucking awkward ass shit, dude. <laughs> Because it's even awkward, like, because I know, like, a couple dudes that go to my gym, and and one of them, he, like, he knows about us, and, like, listens to the podcast and stuff, and super cool dude, but it's, like, it's always a little awkward even talking to someone you know, Mm -hmm. because, like, they're working out, and you're like, yo, and, like, they they just may not, it's always like the, huh, oh, what's up, dog, yeah, good to see you. Yeah. That moment is always a little weird. Yeah. (laughs) Just do it to a fucking total stranger. It's so, uh, it just makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that shit yeah, so much, I dude. Know, me too. Even like when people like, like you ever the my other second least favorite is when a dude is trying to hit on a girl in a fucking um, when you're all waiting for like takeout, mm-hmm. or, like a place like the Habit or something, mm-hmm. and like it's like nine people standing around with like whatever. Mm-hmm. Some dude's like, this place always takes so long. You know, I, oh, I hate that. <laughs> Some the girl's like, huh? You know, it just takes forever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I don't eat here that often. Oh, I eat here all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's wow, that's awesome. So good. You gotta try the chicken stickers. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm I'm a vegetarian. Oh yeah. I tried that for like a month. I couldn't do it. It couldn't last. Where do you work? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, well, like what building? Like where where do you work? Where do you I, I work over there. It's not weird now because I told you where I work. Yeah. I'm like a spin instructor at the place. Oh uh, yeah, I tried that for a month too. <laughs> couldn't get, couldn't wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> what cl- what class do you teach? That's crazy. I might have taken your class. Do you still teach there? Oh shit, maybe I'll take another class. Maybe I'll come check you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's cool. What's your name? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm Justin. Yeah, nice to I'm meet Justin. you. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, man. this place always takes so long. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number? <laughs> no, like your receipt. No, sorry. <laughs> that'd, be cool. that'd be crazy. Ah, I got you. You ticklish, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little chicken, Sammy. Let me give you a tickle. Come on. <laughs> if you're my girlfriend, that's why I call you my chicken, Sammy, because yeah. your name's Samantha. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, By the way, Instagram is Justin Lifts. Yeah, yeah. So hit me up, dude. <laughs> hit me up. What's another awkward ass place where dudes try to pick up? Bars, whatever. And I don't hate that too Elevators. much. Elevators. Oh yeah, d- d- <clears throat> dudes try that shit. That's that shit's always <clears throat> fucking strange. Uh, you you know what? You know what the fuck is creepy when I when I worked at like Best Buy and shit, like dudes who would just come in repeatedly. To try to like break the ice with like a cashier or some shit. Oh, really? Yeah, that was fucking funky, dude. Damn. Weird. Damn. Weird. Yeah. That's why dating apps are good. Yeah, because it just. It just eliminates the need to do any of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. And and then you can immediately find out who's a creep based on the chat. 
Yeah, exactly. And you it's know. like you don't have to actually like face the person. Mm -hmm. And yeah. at least you know a little something about them. Yeah. Instead of just cold opening to someone random who the only the only thing you have in in oh what no no we're good we're good, oh. we're good. the only thing uh, that you have in common is the fact that you're both at fucking habit or whatever it yeah. is yeah yeah sorry this just <laughs> randomly popped in my head but going on Tinder and then like halfway through getting to know someone acting like it's a Twitch chat <laughs> thank you for the bits or like now you're just spamming memes and shit like a thousand miles an hour. Twitch emotes and fucking <laughs> poggers, 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 pog, 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 Subscribed for three months. Yeah. Yeah. Tier one. It's just like, what the fuck is going on in there? Put the bits emote. I put bit, I put, I'm giving you bits. 500 bits. 500 bits. Thousand bits. Thousand bits. Love it. Thousand bits. Anyway, I've never had to use one of those. What? A dating app. Oh yeah. I never had to use one. <clears throat> yeah. Um <clears throat> I don't know what our, our what our ad reads were for this episode, but <clears throat> if it was hinged, this would be a great place great, to re yeah. replug them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um where are we at with, <clears throat> with with the time? I don't know. I didn't I didn't <laughs> keep a timer. Talk to it's him almost for, ten though. Oh yeah. So you should leave pretty soon. No, no, no. Talk talk to him for a second. I'll figure it out. I had something I fucking wanted to say. It was about um oh, it was about Costa Rica, maybe? I don't know. I went to Costa Rica for four days and uh it was pretty fun. Tamarindo is where I went and it's a good place. Pretty touristy though. Like a lot of Americans go there, a lot of expats. Okay. Tons of fans there actually. Shout out to all the fans I met in Tamarindo, but a lot of like teenage American boys. That are just they, that just live there for some reason. Oh, I'm guessing because their dad's an expat or something. Yeah, or just but, a surf. Um, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I don't live know. There? Yeah, I think they just live there. We were, we were like, "What are you doing here? Are you guys vacationing here?" And they're like, "No, we live here." Oh, like pull up, fam. It's Liddy in Tamarindo. <laughs> it's absolutely. It's a movie here in Tamarindo. Personally, <laughs> like straight up every day. Yeah, movie. <laughs> um, R rated though. It's funny. Every single one I met, they go, "Yo, yo, low key though." Jake Paul's a bitch. And like, to go to dad me up, I'm like, yeah. Okay. yeah. They're like, yo, you're a cyber bully. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come here with a bunch of cyber weapons, dog? Actually, funny ass story. <clears throat> you were hacking this guy's bank account. Hacking my, yeah. yeah. I was um, Getting packet cyber sniffing in a cafe. Yeah. No, I was, uh, we were sitting, <clears throat> Colby and I were sitting at this restaurant. And it was like post surf, so we're like just sitting there, just tired as fuck. Yeah, we're both kind of zoned out. Yeah, and all of a sudden we just hear this giant like body slap on the ground right beside us, and we're like, "What the fuck?" And we look over, and this probably eighty pound iguana had fallen through the straw roof and just splatted on the ground. <laughs> and he was like, he just like landed and like like flipped up to his feet. And just like try to play it off like it never happened. <laughs> he, like, he just kind of stood there for a second, was just kind of eyeing us. He's like, "Did you guys, did you guys hear that?" <laughs> and you guys that was like crazy. You guys were like, "Come on, fool!" We know it was we, you, saw, dude. we saw, we saw, we saw it was you, dude. <laughs> Come on, dude. Stop playing it off like it wasn't you, man. Look at the fucking ceiling, dog. Who we, is? Who just? You telling me that hole came out of nowhere and you're just coincidentally right under the hole? He's like, dude, what? He's like, I've been here the whole time, like just like you. <laughs> I said, what up to you when you got in? He just starts backing away slowly. He did. He just like kind of like backed away and was like, see, I'll see you guys later. I've been here for a minute, so I'm going to I'm gonna get out of here. I'm going to skedaddle. So. <laughs> just leaves the straw <laughs> on the ground. It was so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, that would, that would kill me. Giant ass iguana. Dude, same, similar thing in Thailand. <clears throat> Alina and I had stayed there. We, we kind of like, we kind of stayed a little too long. Just like we wanted to go home or whatever, and like the bugs were getting to Alina. She's like, God damn it, she's like, fucking mosquitoes. If I get nailed by one more, I'm like, Hey, or she, or she goes, like, Then she says, She's like, What if I get fucking bitten by a snake next? I'm like, I'm like, There ain't no fucking snakes here. I'm like, We're by the beach, it's like populated. <clears throat> there ain't no snakes here. Within minutes of that, dude, a fucking snake falls out of a tree right next to her feet. She goes, <gasps> And it just goes, <laughs> Oh my like, god! Yeah, like whatever, runs away, and uh, she just turns and looks at me, and I'm like, 
All right, maybe there's snakes here. <laughs> you ticklish? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. You laugh it off. You laugh it off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, you little giggle puss. Let's see. <laughs> Dude, I, I was, there was like this wooden bridge leading back to our place. Yeah. This janky ass bridge. Like half the wooden planks were broken in half and shit. Yeah. And it's over top of a swamp nice. where there's crocodiles. Sick. So every time we're like, you know, navigating this bridge and uh, one of the times we go, we're going back and there's like a group of three people in front and they're stopped. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, fuck, is there a croc? I'm looking around and I'm like, I'm asking, he's like, what's up? Is it, what's, what's going on? They go, oh, there's a snake right here on the, it was on the fucking arm of the bridge. Oh. And so I'm like, damn, that's crazy. But I don't want to look at it. I just want to like beeline past it. Yeah. So I'm like, excuse me. And I'm like, I just like move past and I just beeline past the snake. And I'm like, oh man. And the guy just goes, ah! and I'm like, ah! <laughs> And he looks like he starts cackling. I'm like, you fucking dick. Oh, wow. I didn't even know you, dog. I thought I was going to die for a second. He's just like, ah, his whole family's laughing. I'm like, fuck you. Was it dad? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Dick. You felt like a bitch instantly right there. Oh. Oh, Right on cue. Right on cue. Wow, if we came in later, we would have been fucked. Yeah, absolutely. Thank God this is not going to be an issue. We got a brand new fucking studio. Yeah, guys, We're moving in soon. It's so, it's going to be so fire. <laughs> yeah, it's sick. We have to run like another 10 men. We're on the ni- we're on the 90 yard line. Okay. Um, But I don't know how we're going to do it. We'll just, you know, whatever. Yeah. We'll just play what, it off. Ta- Tamarindo was cool, though. It was, it was a good place. Have you ever been to Costa Rica? Nah. It's cool. It's a straight up rainforest. <laughs> it's a straight up rainforest. Rain, rainforest. Like, dude. you know the rainforest cafe? Yeah. It's like that. It looks but like real. that. But r- real. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's really cool. It's a cool place. And uh, I don't know. The crocodile thing was sketchy as fuck. Yeah. Because, like, all the good surf is, like, right in front of, like, river mouths. So, where the river meets the ocean. Okay. And we're like, do, do. And crocodiles are in the river. So, we're like, do they ever, like, swim out to the ocean? And they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. We see them in the ocean all the time. And we're like, did they ever attack people? And they're like, they don't really have a reason to attack people. But this one dude that was driving the boat that we were on one day, he was like, yeah, there's been one, there's been like one or two deaths in the past, like however many years from crocodile attacks. Huh. He's like, yeah, this one kid was just surfing and this croc came up and just one bite right out of his leg and hit his artery and he just fucking bled out on the beach. And we we're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let out. But you know, it's just like this is local shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever, man. Yeah. You know, it could happen to you. Yeah. Or it could not. Yeah. You just don't know. Just take the chance, you know? Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah. We we're surf out here. We're fine. <laughs> I love all those videos of like old guys trying to fucking tame crocodiles. Mm. Why, dude? Hey, Florida, I guess. Mm-hmm. This is some Florida shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. To, something to do in yeah. Florida. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get this gator. Man, I've been out of the gym for a week. I'm already looking smaller. Yeah, you can just, just see it dissipate. Oh, I had I had my MRI, dude. Oh, how'd it go? Um, that shit. MRI gets, stands for um, mostly reasonable intellectual. Okay, cool. Musty riesling. Yeah, musty, ingestion. Yeah, musty riesling ingestion. Mm-hmm. That's when um, you're sipping some really old yeah, riesling. Yeah. Nice. Mostly reckless in, intuition. Mm-hmm. So shit like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I talked a little bit about this on stream, but they fucking, that shit gets hot, dude. In the MRI? Yeah. Really? I didn't think it could get that hot, but it got kind of hot. Hmm. So what did it show? Do you get the results back yet? <laughs> uh, it's going to take me like like two days or something, okay. and they'll, they'll tell me if um my nerve is fucked up. Okay. Like, you know, I'd send you that DM. Shout out to the dude. Um, I know you, you was trying to be nice, but it, it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Very comforting DM. Um... Basically, a uh, homie told me that he had a slip disc or something, and a, he had a pinched nerve, and 70% of the muscles on the right side of his body atrophied. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't have the pain anymore, but the damage is, like, irreversible. So, oh, so maybe he was referring just to the damage to his nerve. But I interpreted that as, like... That means... that I don't think that... I think that means you'll never get the strength back. That's yeah, what that's what I interpreted that yeah. as, right? I think that's what he was saying. That scared the fucking shit out of yeah. me. Yeah. Because I get, like, weird, like, strain when I, like, lift my arms and stuff, and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, am I, like, are my muscles disappearing? Mm-hmm. But then I went and, like, repped out some decent weight, so I'm like, I'm probably fine. 
<laughs> yeah, you're good. All yeah. you gotta do is get in the gym one time. Yeah, rep out some weight. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I definitely, I threw the weight up, and I'm like, okay, it's not like hard. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this is crazy. We are in the back of a club right now. This is what it sounds like: two guys pissing in, it, talking at the urinal, mm -hmm. talking in line at the shitter. Yeah. What's up? How you doing, bro? Good, dude. You? Fucking smash full. I gotta take a fucking shit, dog. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that's the worst. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We've talked about club shits before. You ever had a gnarly club shit? No, well, probably. I didn't. I've had one. Probably. I had one where, like, I was pretty fucking drunk, and I had to dump so bad. And it was, it was at, like, some fucking shit in gas lamp. <clears throat> I don't know what the club was. It was, like, a, it was a smaller club. It's like nothing that, like, a lot of people... I don't, it probably is like just a space that like a promoter runs shit out mm -hmm. of. Like it, there was no logo on the shit. Anyway, this bathroom was weirdly big. There were a bunch of urinals, and then the door to the shitter, like the the engineers like just didn't care to make the doors meet or the cracks meet on anything. Okay, and so it just and then like the the door was hella small. So like if someone tall was like peeing next to me, they could definitely see me taking a shit. Mm -hmm. Like good, nice bird's eye view. Yeah, and so I get in there and I get like I like get cold feet. Like, but I have to. I feel the shit in my bowels, but it's like not coming out. <laughs> and I'm just like drunk, like just trying to psych myself up. Like, come on, man. <laughs> just let it go, man. Just get that dookie out. Come loosen, on, loosen, loosen. Just relax. <sighs> just gonna loose all this shit out of here. You're Literally, happy place, happy place. Yeah, happy place. And so. You know, after like a few minutes, I, 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 I let it rip. And then, um, you know, I didn't think past, I didn't even bother to look. There was like maybe, I don't know, 14 turds, no pieces of toilet paper. Okay. So I got a very <laughs> carefully utilized. I turds. Yeah. Yeah. Tur <laughs> just extra I, I turd looked, in. I was counting was about 14 turds just in extra there. extra shits in there. <laughs> Tons of shit in there. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> That's crazy. No wonder my butt's all brown. <laughs> and so I'm having to like maneuver this TP like real bad. And I like, you know, I'm, I I get out of there clean and swift. I feel amazing. And then I just started looking at some of these dudes in line. And I felt like a few of them were like kind of like, like almost prepping for the dive. And I'm just like, sorry, bro. You know, toilet paper in there. I hope you, I hope you make it. It was like, the one guy I remember specifically that kind of like leaned up against the wall. It wasn't like grabbing his stomach, but he just had like a wince on his face. I'm like, that dude's got a dookie. Oh, damn. Yeah. Just did some coke probably. Yeah. And just cleaned him out. <laughs> like, I really got to just take yeah, this just right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, we fucking, you got to go. We got to do the reads and then you got to fucking go. No, we won't make the time though. What do you mean? We, yes, I, we will, dude. It was 32 when I said, let's take a break. No, I just checked it. It's only like, uh, it was only like 49. No way. You're yeah, lying. Way. Yes way. No, you're lying. Yes way. I know you're lying. No, I'm not, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not. I'm hungry as shit, I'm too. I'm hungry as fuck, too. I'm what dying. What the fuck is going on, man? I, I, we got to go meet the broski. Let me text I'm Spot. trying to get back into... You know, you know vacations just throw you off everything. Yep. And yep. Uh, we were working out because we were surfing, but it was just like eating and drinking whatever the fuck we wanted yep. at whatever hour of the day. So now I'm like, my stomach has expanded again yep. and I'm trying to get back into fasting and it's just miserable the first like three, four days, something mm. like that. Yeah. This is fucking crazy. Can I read this? <laughs> Shit, okay, yeah. I follow the guy that started Telegram, Durov. Okay. He has a Telegram channel that okay. you can just follow. Oh, and really? And then he'll just send messages out every once in a while with like up updates about like him and Telegram. He's like an interesting guy. He, he's, I'm pretty sure this is the guy that started VK. Uh -huh. As well, which is like the Russian Facebook. Okay. Super rich dude, and he's still like really involved in Telegram. Okay. Um, so he says, those of you who follow my posts know that I'm a big believer in self-restraint. In the last 15 years, I've had no alcohol, no caffeine, no meat, no pills, and no fast food. Health-wise, it brought good results. I only had a fever once in the last 15 years. Typically, I just don't get ill. A year ago, I added more restrictions to my diet. No gluten, no dairy, no eggs, no fructose. I did it to achieve higher productivity and clarity of thought, as well as to train willpower and self-discipline. Another technique I employ to improve willpower is swimming in ice-cold water every winter in Finland or Switzerland. 
If you ever fa if you ever face the necessity to stay in a lake with a thin layer of ice on top for a few minutes, you are less likely to less likely to procrastinate when it comes to starting on a boring but necessary project. In May, I limited the foods I eat to fish and seafood only. In case you have daily access to fresh wild caught fish, it can definitely rec I can definitely recommend this diet for boosting productivity. Blah blah. blah. And he goes on to say like you know our ancestors ate fish only. Blah blah. blah. This month, I'm trying something more radical with consuming no food at all. <laughs> I've been on a water fast for the last six days and I'm feeling great so far. Since zero food consumption improves clarity of thought, I also got many things done on the product management side. Fasting is a great way to blah, blah, blah. That's why most religions have a tradition of fasting. It's healthy and necessary both for the body and for the mind. Obviously, I might lose some muscle mass as a result, but I believe that if I manage to come up with a new great ideas for Telegram during the fast, it will be beneficial for all of the millions of Telegram users. <laughs> what the fuck, what dude? That beast. is that has to be fake, dude. It's what? written like satire, isn't it? Yeah. This month, I'm trying even something even more radical. I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think it'll be worth it if I if I come back if some <laughs> I have a doctor revive me. And if I come back with new ideas for Telegram, it'll yeah. be worth it for all the millions of users. Yeah, they'll hit him with the fucking, uh, the, the, <clears throat> the, what is it, the battery terminals on his chest. <laughs> yeah. fucking, oh, we should add editing old messages. <laughs> what? Fuck, yeah, Gen sorry. Genius. Gen <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's what we were looking for. That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. That level of self-restraint, I yeah. can't imagine that. I used to practice shit like that when I was deep on my fucking eastern philosophy it's gotta be it's gotta be good for you i mean i don't know about eating not eating for a month that's crazy i've heard no. people some people will not eat they'll do a week-long fast at the beginning of every month yeah and then eat whatever the fuck they want for the remaining three weeks because the mm. calories they don't eat for a whole week basically offsets anything they could ever put back in their body weird which is pretty crazy but a month dude that's insane. That's fucking insane. Yeah. This this beat is insane. Yeah, this is this is sick. We should do a song about fasting for a month. Yeah. Um um a hey, um don't need no food. No. Don't need no water. I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I used, to, I used to do shit like that. It was very um it was tough. I mean, I, I agree in that, like, when I would do shit like that, it would, I felt like I was, um, I don't know, <laughs> reinforcing. Yeah, like, strengthening my willpower. I mm -hmm. felt like I was able to, like, definitely, like, push through, like, shit and, like, there's no such thing. Like, pain is, is not real, mm. you know? Like, <laughs> it was just weird shit like that. And, um, yeah, you definitely you definitely feel better and it does, like, create that sort of I don't know it's like uh, separating um, what like what actual pain is and like what your brain is just telling you what hurts mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah yeah totally. so, I don't know it sort of <laughs> it's actually funny because I'm like so I'm planning to start up at this Muay Thai gym with my friend's brother I was like texting him I'm like alright man so like my plan is like I want to hit the gym like Muay Thai like once or twice a week and then like I want to weight train in between I'm like, should I weight train a certain way? So like when I go to like, you know, to the, to train Muay Thai, like I won't like, I want to be successful at that. And he was just like, he goes, bro, unless you are training 10 hours a day, your body will do it with hurt. Like hurt. You just need to train your mind to like push through it. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, but that's also like such some like MMA because he's, he fought yeah. MMA for a few years. And like that is just like, like some fighter mentality shit. Mm -hmm. No such thing as pain, dog. You got to push through it. And I like, and I know it sounds like a cliche, but uh, I don't, like when they say shit like that, but I started thinking about it more. Like, you know, you, you ever like hit a bag? Like you ever like. No. Like e even if you like you hit a bag like like wrong or weird, like you'll get like, like Alina took a boxing class and like she hit the bag kind of funny, like her wrist was hurting. Mm -hmm. And like I've hit a bag here and there, and like I've felt shit. I'll blow a bag. I'll, I'll fucking blow a bag. Yeah, dog. fuck it. I never Go punch to the a bag. Go Gucci though. store. I'll <laughs> blow a fucking bag. But it just it makes me think like I've I've said this before, but 
I, in some way, but I, it, I was just thinking again, like when you're like locked in a cage and you're fighting some dude and he wants to fucking kill you. And like, you have like a moment where you're like, Oh, I got like no energy left. Like fucking Anthony Joshua, when he got mm. knocked out by mm. Andy, like that moment must've been like, God damn it. Like you just thinking about all the repercussions of giving up. Like that is some shit where you're, I don't know, you got to have insane willpower in those, and to, I don't know, to just do that. Yeah. I, I mean, know. that's like, it's like marathon running too. Yeah. Yeah. That's all like athletics in, in general, but <clears throat> except, um, except basketball. Mm -hmm. There's no pain in basketball. That game last night was great. Did you watch it? No, I just looked at the score. We were playing Uno on stream. Oh, yeah, right. How was that? I can't wait for everyone to be like, there's pain in basketball. <laughs> Said that to piss people off. <laughs> yeah, fucking Clay Thompson and uh, Looney, they're faking it, dude. They <laughs> yeah, should have been playing yeah, last night. They're just fucking night. pussies, dude. Um, yeah, I mean, well, half the Warriors are hurt, so probably Raptors will take it. You're making me nervous. Why? That you're not leaving. No, Spock's going to go. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Spock's gone. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. Like, this is how fucking nervous I am about time. Yeah. I'm clearly. like, I know your time. I know your agenda. Yeah. And it's making me nervous. Yeah, I'm on CP time, baby. Are you going to head there anyways? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Spock's just going to meet him ahead of me. Okay, cool. That's LA, dog. Everyone's late, except you. <laughs> I, was, I was an hour early this morning. Motherfucker. I'm like, sitting in my car. <laughs> all right, getting ready to go. And he's like, I'm here. Look at your on time ass. It's crazy because I'm I'm thinking about how uh, this morning when I got that message from Durov. Yeah. I was I was like, oh man, my stomach. My, my stomach. Keep I was going. like, my stomach hurts. I want a banana or some <laughs> oatmeal so bad. My tummy hurts. And then I got that message. I was like, I haven't eaten for nine days. It's been only water, and I'm laser focused. And I'm like, oh, yeah. some lucky charms. Yeah. That's me, like pre-show. My tummy grumble. Pretty show. I have like all these stupid rituals. Mm -hmm. I can't be full, but I can't be hu not hungry. So you're right in the middle. What's up? Sorry. I got a text massage. There we go. Okay. I think we got a dip. <clears throat> all right, guys. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. This one's all over the place. Uh, um, TinyMeTour.com. Get some those tickets. tickets. And, um, TMGPod.com. Get we, some merch. We are shooting a special video tomorrow. Yes, we are. That one's going to... This one's going to be fun. So To quote Striking Vipers, blow your fucking mind, it's man. Blow your mind. Gonna blow your mind, dude. Um, um, and then, yeah, we'll... Oh, new song on Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. That's like the most important shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a, got a new song. What, what's the day? Is it Thursday? Today's Thursday, so yeah, tonight. So tomorrow. Tonight. Yeah. Shit. Tonight, 9 p.m. And then music video, mañana. Yep. All right. So see you there or see you on another Square. time. Square. See you there see or you see you on the circle. Be, see you on the circle. We'll be All there. Right. Bye. All right, guys. See Bye. you guys.